Hello everyone. I want to show something cool. This is a block editor block, but it is coming from the bricks editor. How? I mean, it is a block. Yeah, we can edit it. Yeah, we can edit it. We can change text. Nice. We can add more. It works like a component. Just, just a normal block actually. Yeah, it is completely normal block, but it is coming from the block editor. That's the thing. Look at that. We can change URL. If it is a link, we can change the image. Let's pick the cat. Nice, and it's responsive. Yeah, look at that. Responsive is pretty good. Not bad. So this is coming from the bricks editor. This is how it works. This is a Gutenberg plugin. Okay. So let's create a new one. Let's go to the templates. Create a um, block too. Let's name it like that. And we just want the block. We can make page templates too. But mostly blocks will be enough. Let's edit that. And after that, we can design anything, literally anything. Let's make a section. Let's add some stuff. Image. Let's add rich text. Let's make this grid. Why not? <laughs> Let's make this grid. 1FR, 1FR. Yeah. Let's give it spacing a little bit. Great. Pick the cat. Okay. Do I need spacing? I don't think I don't. I'm not sure. But I'm going to align. Align it like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Let's check the. Yeah, it needs on the responsive. I'm just going to give it 10. Actually, we just need on right and left. That's it. For the responsive. So it doesn't get like stick to the sides. Good. Let's make the responsive spacing 10. Why it is moving like that? Yeah, I need to report that. Let's make the font size 1FR. Stop freaking out! When I click that, that it makes that. Okay, great. Looks nice. Great, great. And it is only stacking on the mobile font size. Good. Let's go and create a new post. Add a block. And this is our block. It is rendering like real time. Look at that. Nice. You can see the preview too. And we can change the image. Easy. We can change the text. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. And the responsive will work as designed. Great. Oh, so good. I love it. Let's check it on the front end. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create blocks with Bricks Editor, Bricks Builder. So Gutenberg is a still in alpha or beta stage. So this is a release candidate. It is not stable yet. There are some bugs, but it is not, sta I mean, it's not stable release yet. That's why. So if you want to check it out, go to the white EP and you can see the Gutenberg bricks. There are lots of examples how we are using and it is like still under development. Lots of changing is happening. I hope it will go, it will become stable pretty soon because I want to use this on the client side uh, very soon. Yeah. Like I'm making big websites all the time, corporate websites. I think this is a must, must feature for clients. Yeah, because when I usually make the post news or career postings, uh, pages, uh, post types only, and I don't want to give them to Bricks Builder. Like right now we have to give them the Bricks Builder templates like it. And for that, we have to give them editor role. Yeah. 
but admin role actually yeah we have to give them admin role but i don't want that i usually don't want that i mean i just want to set this builder access to admin only and for editors they should only see the uh, block editor that's it that's that's what normal user should see anyway that's that's my idea what do you guys think did you guys like the plugin what do you guys think oh by the way the price has changed i bought at 29 i think now it is 49 and it will go up from there see you guys on the next video bye